sponsored by Winwing Technologies. They couldn't offer the full cockpit, but we think this is the next best thing. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late March 2022, we now have the Apache in DCS, so that's three big dedicated attack helicopters we have. The AH-64 Apache, the MI-24P Hind, and the KA-50 Kamov. So, which is best at their main task, which is of course air-to-ground attack? Well, let's find out today. We're going to do a competition. We're going to try and keep it as objective, as empirical as possible, while adding some fun. There will be three tests. The first test, as shown in front of you, is how many tanks can a fully armed helicopter of each type destroy in 10 minutes? The second test will be similar, but instead of tanks, it will be infantry and light-skinned vehicles. And the third test, which will be the most fun one, I think, will be how much damage can a helicopters take from ground fire. So we're testing anti-tank, anti-light armor and infantry, and actual endurance of fire. Let's start with anti-tank. Now, what I would love to do is have an equal amount of Kamov, Hind, and Apache pilots, but it's just impossible to get that. So it's going to be mainly Apache pilots. We've got two Kamovs flown by Grump and Monkey. Red is flying a Hind here. The rest are going to be flying Apaches. What I'm going to do is give them all a FARP. In front of them, by exactly five miles, is a set of 20 T-90 tanks set to non-return fire and non-disperse. And each of the helicopters has an identically set out set of targets. And it's simply going to be, when I blow the whistle, who can blow up the most tanks in 10 minutes. Now, it's slightly more complicated because I'm not going to arm you up, so you guys have got to decide which type of weapons you think will be best. In terms of movement, you can go wherever you want. You can go closer, you can go further away, or you can just sit on your FARP if you like. It's completely up to you. You probably will use all your weapons, and you can then reload at your FARP, and that also tests how quickly the helicopter can rearm. That's, you know, a real thing that tests how good the helicopter is, so you can do that. At the end of the second whistle, we'll count how many tanks each helicopter has blown up will take the best score from each helicopter type so that helps to average out the pilot skill and we'll make a decision then we'll move on to the next test so guys that gives us predictions before we go we're going to have the cam off which is obviously going to be armed up with the vickers uh, laser beam riding missiles i imagine plus whatever else you want oh and a 30 mil depressible gun we're going to have the hind so it's got these guys here it can carry the sturms and the other type eight of those in total plus a twin barreled 30 mil gun and then we've got the apache so that can carry 16 hellfires and the 30 mil chain gun so on the face of it it sounds like the apache can carry the most weapons and probably do the most damage but that doesn't mean they're going to do best anyone got any definite predictions apache i'm gonna okay. bet on the i'm gonna bet on the hokum because uh just because counter-rotating, it's a lot more stable in uh, hover flight, so we can just get up into the air, lob uh, 12 Vickers, and then land or use our 30 mic mics. I'll see what the 30 mic mic can do to the tanks, but if these are T-80s, mm. might be uh, hard with armor penetrating. I don't know. Any, anyone betting on the hind today? No hind betters. Okay. Right, well, let's see what happens. And for the first test, here we go. Each of them has the identical set of targets, which are these 20 T90s just sitting there doing literally nothing. It's there on front armor, so they're going to be hard to kill. So weapon warhead is going to matter. We've got Grump in Kamov. Monkey in Kamov. We've got Red in Pine. In Apache, we've got Scott, Tanky, empty one for some reason, uh, Arnie, and I don't know where Simba's gone, but Simba will be in there somewhere at some point. Three, two, one off you go guys good luck everyone if i were you i'll just leave your gear out guys look at them go look at them go Trump has 12 laser beam riding vicar missiles and a uh, 30 more cannon if he needs it his targets are over there range of the missile is going to play a part and that is obviously one of the things that we're testing today Let's see if we've got missiles out. We've got our first missiles out from Simba. Good luck, Mr. Hellfire. These are the laser guided K variant of the Hellfire. Rifle. And that from Scott. Now, will it be able to kill from this range? I don't see why not. Right down on the top armor of the tank. Ow. 
Dead tank from Simba. Nice. First blood. The other hellfires are now firing. The Vickers happened, interestingly. Oh, we got a miss from whoever that was. I don't know who it was. But the... No, that was me. Ah. Okay, Grump's firing. Vickers are coming out now. Vickers, uh, kind of, it works strangely. It kind of rides, spins because it rides around the, uh, the beam of the laser. Good kill, Grumptastic. Monkey's firing. Okay, everyone's firing now, including the 89 attacker missile from uh, the hind. Funny looking thing, but it's a powerful missile. Good kill, Red. Okay, everyone's killing now. Right, it really is a race now. Guys, oh, is this the um, hind's weapon? Is that laser guided or is that guided another way? I've forgotten already. I don't think it's laser guided. Uh, Sacklos, right? So this one is not laser guided. Some people's missiles are not killing. Some are hitting that front arm. Scout rifle. Killing. Good kill. Very nice. Wow! Absolute ripple fire from from monkey. Look at that. Yeah, not every Russian missile is killing, I know. Some of them just aren't killing. Oh, that was a pure vomit. Nice one. Rifle. Some of those Vickers just are not killing the target. I wonder why. Just doesn't seem to be as good as a Hellfire for some reason. Might just come watch Simba point blank at the targets pretty much. Now, the way the hind works is it pretty much has to move to... If you're going to play it on uh, multiplayer like we're doing today with one person, you have to move to, towards the target all the time. That's one problem with the MI24. The Apache can hover in multiplayer. The KA-50 can hover in Winchester. multiplayer. Who was that monkey? Roger. Oh, he's almost fired all of his hellfires off. Wow, Simba's doing amazing. Look at that. Hellfire in DCS just seems to be a better missile. The Hellfire kills every time. The Vickers and the Attacker is not killing every time. Is that realistic? N absolutely no idea. Not the foggiest. One thing I do note is that uh, the Hellfire kind of hits on top of the vehicle. It dives down and hits on top. Whereas the Attacker and the Vickers from here kind of go straight on and hit that front armor. I mean, and that is uh, it's kind of a defect in the I way I have it, it in lob. You have it in lob, but yeah, right. So that seems to uh, really help the way it's killing armor. One way or another, lots of tanks there, guys. I don't know who's winning at the moment. Time check. You have had half your time. You have four and a half minutes left, guys. Four and a half minutes. Please plan that how you will. Boom! Yeah, right on top armor. That really does make a difference. I guess the uh, Hellfire was designed to do that then. So you Winchester, Simba. Yep, the Simba Winchester. Right, you've got to get your maximum speed and get back to base. Uh, Simba, just go 180. One thing to note is different tactics. Tanky's hovering and firing from far away. These boys went in close. No idea which is the most effective way of doing it. I guess we're literally going to learn today, right? Well, I'm not having to wait for my missiles to uh, uh, hit the target ah, I've seen by my, going up close. I've seen my hell, first Hellfire that's not killed. Tanky's last one did not kill. So, it looks like Hellfire... I wonder if there's a problem shooting from range. That's interesting. Let's watch another one. Uh, I mean, it depends on accuracy. It is a laser, so... Mm. You know, if it doesn't score per se a direct hit yeah let's have a look Interesting. i wish i knew more about these missiles so that's definitely hit yep that hit and killed it tanky we'll see the data in a minute scott's doing pretty well yeah scott's mullering so scott's doing differently he's hovering next to the target and i'm not having the targets fire back at the moment i will do later on but i want to run it in different scenarios and in this one i don't want the targets firing back Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. I'm not. I don't think I'll make it back in time to rearm and be effective. I should have just gone in with a cannon, probably. But 
Great killing by Scott. He's really taken to the uh, taken to the Apache. Oh, I love this thing. Two minute warning. Watching Grump. Uh, Grump's problem is I don't think his missiles are killing those tanks on front armor. That is part of the competition. You've got to get through that tough armor. I got two missiles left, and then it's all guns. Yeah, Vickers aren't killing. Not powerful enough. That's interesting. Just over one minute, if my math is right. Yes, just over one minute, guys. You might as well, if you're out there, just plug some guns in. You might hit, hit a damaged one. I've got one more health bar, Scott. And then there were none. Done. 40 second warning. Okay, get those last missiles out, guys. If the targets are in red health, I will consider that a kill. If the target's in red health, because I know it can't move or do anything at that point. 20 second warning. Get your last shots out, guys. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pausing. Well done, guys. You all worked really hard there, which is great. I'm going to go and count the scores and stand by. We've got Grump, five kills. Monkey, nine kills. Red, six kills. Simba, 11 kills. Well done. Tanky, eight kills. Scott, 12 kills. Wow, hidden champion. Mark, no kills. He was having a laser conflict, uh, which we know is a bit of a problem at the moment, so that's just the way it goes. So, another way of saying that is the Kamov topped out at nine kills. The Hind topped out with a good driver, topped out at six kills. And the Apache topped out at 12 kills. So, very relatively empirically, the best anti-tank for the worst case scenario for anti-tank, head on armor at a distance, the best thing for killing was the Apache, and we saw that all the way through here. And I, anecdotally, I saw that as well. Almost every Hellfire I saw killed a tank. Most Vickers I saw did not kill a tank. They just hit the tank and disappeared. Same with the Attacker. They just hit the tank and disappeared. Why is that? It looked like the direction it was hitting the tank to me. The Russian missiles hit the front of the tank, and it looks like the American missiles dive down on top of the tank. And that's obviously a major advantage and should be taken into the results. Next, we're going to do anti-infantry and light armor. So each contender now has 40 targets. 20 infantry and 20 MTLBs, very light armor APCs, all relatively spread. And they've got to see how much damage they can do. Again, the hostiles will not be firing back at the moment, so they can go as close as they like. The damage absorption of the helicopter will be tested in test Three. Guys, um, you've had a bit of a test. Can you confirm you're all taking rockets and guns? I'm taking uh, all missiles. Missiles? I'm taking, I'm taking missiles, rockets, and guns. All oh, right. That's a bit of a mixed bag. Okay, well, uh, you know what you're doing. Two, one, off you go, guys. Good luck. I guess the good thing about the guided missiles is you can send them from distance on the way. Front man so far as Simba being the most aggressive. That's because Simba's not got too any aiming. He's going right in for those uh, close range rockets. Tanky or rockets. Uh, Scott or Hellfires. What's the thinking behind that, Scott? I couldn't get um, my rockets working too well, um, uh, or my Hellfires working last round, so I right. think they were just conflicting, well, so I just went with one. At least, um, yeah, at least we get to test whether Hellfires are effective in this case. Arnie is rockets and chain gun. Yeah, somebody has a missile out. Right, that is an attacker and a Vickers. All right, here they go, the boys with the guided weapons. There should be easy kills. No armor to worry about. Boom. One small disadvantage of the Hellfire I've seen so far is it seems to be the slowest missile, which means especially firing at range means you're going to do a lot of waiting. Yeah, still waiting for that check. Not there yet. We'll be there in a second. And boom, dead. Wait. All right. Monkey just ripples those sons of guns off. Very good camel pilot. Well, Tanky's just a good pilot, period.
Rifle. Grump guns, guns, guns. Right, we're gonna merge. Grump on the gun. We are three minutes in, seven minutes to go. Rifle. Yep. My trim went shit. <clears throat> Rifle. Tanky is point blank. Giving him some McLovin. Aiming rockets in helicopters, I find an incredibly difficult thing to do. You've got to have a really fine eye for it. For the next than 11 me. long time. Scott still sending uh, Hellfires in. Scott's halfway through his Hellfires. Monkey's in there blatting. He's done his Vickers. He's blatting with his cannon. Takes a lot of skill. Use a non movable gun. And a helicopter. Right, back around. Thank you. Thank you, you are shooting on my target. Uh, we should thank him for it, really, Simba. Well, uh, considering I've destroyed half of them. Well, that's a you problem, guys. I don't know how you've managed that. Okay, so. Yes. I will cross two over and go to his. Yeah, so Tanky's attacking Simba's. Scott's attacking Tanky's. And are we really? <laughs> we'll just carry on, guys. We'll kind of we'll figure out. Just carry on what we're attacking, because I don't think Simba killed many anyway in his first run. Giving you boys a head start. Oh, that big old gun from the hind, guys. At this point, I'm asking the obvious question to the valued viewers: Which is your favourite attack helicopter out of these three? At least I know we haven't got all of them in the world, but do you prefer the hind? Do you prefer the Apache? Do you prefer the Camel? And why? What is your what is your answer to it? it looks certainly I prefer the hind. I think it's sexy. Look at the gun, the gun is fully depressed on the camo, that's so cool. Don't actually know how you do that. And the Apaches are ruined really badly. I wonder why the Apaches have done so bad. And all of a sudden, the Russian helicopters have just come into their own. Well, if I wouldn't have crashed, I'd have been out of control good. Comes on the gun. Which one are you going to attack, Simba? Because I need to, to disqualify which one you're going to attack if you're attacking one of the boys' target. Uh, I'm about to cross Scotty's. And go for the other and one. And then... Yep. Well, then no one gets disqualified and everyone's happy. Oh, here go the rockets from the hind. High explosive, obviously. Flash damage. Uh, 90 seconds left, guys. 90 seconds left. Wow. Do I get an extension for having to fly halfway across the map? You do not. You crashed the aeroplane. It's a simple problem. Yeah, but it's not my fault that people are going after my targets. It's true. But anyway, yeah, I have to do it on time. I have to do it on time. Winchester. Scott, done your bit. There's a lot of kills out there, guys. There's a lot of kills. Forty seconds to go, guys. Forty seconds to go. Time for uh, 180. Simba's going mental and just destroying everything in a few seconds. Simba, it's a hard luck. One more guns, guns, guns. Ten 
10 seconds, boys. And stopping now, guys. Well done. We had a bit of a switcheroo there. Grump attack his target. Monkey attack his target. Red attack his target. Tanky switch one over to Simbas. Scott switched one over, but, you know, it's just it's not the end of the world. Poor old Simba had to restart, but go for that one there. Uh, and Arnie was just second at Arnie. So I am going to go and count the scores up. So stand by, please. Counted up. Really interesting scores. Really interesting scores. Grump killed 19. Monkey killed an amazing 36. Almost all of them. Red in the hind killed 30, which is really impressive. Simba, bearing in mind he only had one minute, killed 11, which is a stonking performance, but that's the way it goes. Tanky, 20. Scott, 14. Mark, 8. So the best cam off was 36. The best hind was 30. And the best Apache was 20. Now, I would say if it was a fluke, if all the Apaches didn't get relatively low scores, but they all got relatively low scores, and they had different weapons. So for whatever reason, you guys will have to decide, the Apaches are just not killing as many infantry and low armor units. The Russians all of a sudden have come into their own because their lower powered missiles don't matter as much now. They don't have the armor to get through. And all of a sudden, they are absolutely nailing with their cannon, with their rockets, and with their Vickers. Really interesting reversal of fortunes here. Okay, guys, we're going to do the last test now, which is going to be an interesting kind of canyon survival run. Stand by. Hey, shut up. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome back. This is going to be interesting. We are going to try and test how robust each chopper is. And I'm going to rely on you guys to make sure you stick with the correct thing. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Okay. In front of you guys, to your north, you'll see an air show cone. You are to take off. There is no firing allowed. You are at all times to stick below 100 feet radar. You can go any speed you like. You've got to get to the first air show cone. Go by it or through it. I don't think it will damage you. Once you're there... You are to fly over the baddies between the two airshow cones that are next to each other. All the way to the very northern cone. Once you're at the northern cone, you're going to go around it and come back. And go back over the baddies at 100 feet or less. And you're going to keep cycling like that, guys. North cone, south cone, north cone, no south cone. And you're going to count how many times you've gone over the baddies. And it's an honesty policy uh, because I can't obviously count all of you. Is there any questions about that? Good luck, although I kind of want you all to die painfully. If it was me, I would go as low as possible and as fast as possible to get a few bullets hitting my belly as possible. Okay, valid viewers, if you want to see the boys punished, this is the way to do it. Simba's currently in the lead. And make sure you don't disorientate yourself. If you start going to the wrong person's target, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. Hind and camel, make sure you put your gear up. Which is the fastest chopper here we've tested, and it is the car 50. Because it doesn't... In fact, I don't know why it is, but it is just faster. The baddies are all set to extra vicious. Uh, it's also preferable to go between, through the middle of the baddies. If we all go through the middle of the baddies, we'll get better science. If some people try and sneak around the side of the baddies, we're going to get worse science for the viewers at the end of the day. How low is too low? Can I rub my tires on their roofs? You can do that uh, if roofs? you want, if it helps you. I mean, we all saw that, or you saw that truck video. First ones are going through now. Wow, Grump's belting ahead of everyone. Oh, poor old Grump's getting mullered. Mullered. Ask me if I'm afraid. I know you're afraid. I am not. Actually, he came off pretty well out of that. Still getting shot at. Looks like I'll have to change it to S300s. Right, go around another okay. turn. Simba, you've gone onto the wrong target. Uh, you can still correct this, so do a Yui. You've gone onto Scott's target. So how Simba does this? <laughs> but do a Yui, and I'll guide you back to your target. Simba, I told you to go 180. Uh, just, just go, um, don't do, a, do a Yui, do a Yui. You know, yeah, a, whole, a whole turn around, and I'll guide you back to your cone. Do you have to maintain 100 in the turnaround? Just get a new one, Simba. Um, no, not you turn around however you want to turn around, guys. Ooh, taking major hits. Yep. Wow, Apache getting hit. But don't forget, you guys are counting. You guys are counting how many times to go over. I can't count you all. Red's good. Let's check out Red's vehicle. Oh, Red's got a few pellet holes in him. But he's good. Hind was notoriously tough. Red's got his bays open so they can shoot through his bays. That's funny. Grump's on his second way through. Go, Grump. Now speed, I really think speed's important. The faster you go, the less time they're going to have to put rounds in your belly at the end of the day. Schmal's out. Uh, 
And they take a lot of damage. I thought they would take like two goes, but they're just... That's two. Grump's barely even got any damage on him. Wowie. Tanky's back through. Wow, that was quick. Oh, Red, you're going on the wrong target. Oh, I can't understand why this is so hard. You'll only ever go north and south. Regular your target is to your right. There's a problem with VR users. They're impossible to get them to do what they want, what you want. Wow, really good flying for a monkey. You could not go any lower. Holy crap. Good job, man. Nice. I killed that infantry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't say Did you couldn't you ram into them. Windshield? I didn't say you couldn't ram into them. Use your wipers to get those guts off. Okay, Grump is, I mean, like I said, it's not a race, but Grump is kind of in the lead in terms of speed, at least. Good thing there weren't any cows. Greta would have a fit. If she were to strike. Scott's on a second run. Apache is 30 knots slower by the looks of it. And that is going to tally into the amount of bullets hitting it. Oh, I see an infantry. Scott's going to try and take an infantry out with his wheel. Watch those blades, watch those blades. God. Well, it's not taking any damage so far. Scott, that is not 100 feet. That is not less than 100 feet. Play the game. Uh, Grump, Grump's third run. Sorry, I was trying to take off, take enough altitude to do a barrel roll. Grump, your engines, one of your engines is falling down. Nice. Okay, we've got our first engine loss. It was inevitable. I mean, you've taken probably 150 shots. Reduce power on Grump. And his speed's... No, his speed's still high. Monkey's going through. Monkey goes so low. Careful we don't hit an APC. No Apache's down yet. God, Monkey's taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage, guys. It's all working so far anyway, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Usually when we try something like this, something weird goes wrong. Let's have a look at Tanky. Oh, Tanky's on fire, and they're no longer shooting him. Tanky, you are dead. I know you can still fly, but according to the game, you're dead. So please land your helicopter and don't take part anymore. And uh, Engine we'll... one's working. There's nothing I can do about it. That's DCS how it works at the moment. They think you're dead, which means I have to make I have to make you dead. Guys, if they stop shooting at you, it means, according to DCS, you're dead, which means you're dead. So if you're dead, then you're dead, got it. I see, that's exactly right. That's exactly right, bro. Poor old Scott's getting a pace in. Still firing at Scott? Let's have a look at Grump Tastic. Still firing at you, Grump? Yep, they are. Oh, Russian God. strong! Russian strong! Da, they do not understand Grumpnik mate. Strong like bear. Strong like bear. Now here's the interesting thing. Grump was doing well over 150 knots. He now can't get over 130. Is it one of his turbines is down? Watch it run. Oh. I don't want to watch it run. Down to 2,000 horsepower. Well, at least he's on par with the Apache now. Yep. He's got bits taken out of him. Let's try Monkey. Monkey's the most damaged looking. But his chopper's flying really well. It's even got over 140 knots. Are you talking about his chumper? Or, or a chopper? Or the pilot himself? Both. Both is fine. Right. Okay, going on run number four. Monkey's a really good chopper pilot. We need to get him in the helicopter. Agreed. All right. Uh, right. With that flying tanky, you should be grab. They're still flying at you, Scott. How's Red doing? Russian helicopter, very strong. Yeah, those rotors aren't wanting to spin too well. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Uh, engine out, Ooh. engine out. Somebody's oh. over in my area. I'll check. Negative. Scott is in the correct place. Uh, Simba's gone to the wrong zone. Yeah, I'm missing yep. an engine. 
Let's have a look, Scott. Okay, are they still shooting? They are still shooting you, so you're Get still up. alive. Suck it up and ah! you're going, please. Uh, my main hydraulics are wrecked. Uh, who was oh, that? I got both Ooh. engines out. Monkey. <laughs> Put oh, them right. Land it, land it, land it. And remember your number. Oh, poor old Grump is on fire. Oh, I'm still going. You're dead, Grump. You land, land it, and don't count that pass. Land it, and don't count that pass. Ah. You're dead. Monkey. Monkey's alive. Monkey is alive. Wow. Monkey has been going the lowest and the fastest here, and I did say that would win it. Monkey's still alive. Don't know how he's doing it. Amazing work. That's uh, past five, I think. Scott, are you alive still? I've forgotten. Yep, I'm still alive. Right. Going on, past five. So we've got Tanky down. We've got Red. Is Red dead? Red no, is not. dead. How about that? Right, keep your numbers in your heads, guys. Uh, Grump's dead. Land that vehicle. So it's just Monkey and Scott. Monkey and Scott. Your plane looks fine. I don't see any... There's no fire like the other boys. Unless Bitch and Betty's just having a bad day. Maybe. Oh, Scott, he's just getting the thick end of it. Look at that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, Scott, your tail! Tail, you... Scott! You'll need that to oh, fly! No. You'll need that to live! Oh, no! Land it, land it, land it! Oh, dear. Um, hang on, here we go. Oh, the turbine out. just went, the turbine just went. Ooh. Right, one guy left. I'm okay. I'm okay. One guy left and it's um uh it's monkey and he's doing really well at the moment. He's been flying really fast and really low. However, I understand he's only got one engine. He's down to two thousand horsepower. Yeah, I've got no hydraulics and tried to lower the undercarriage just in ah. case it's Well you're still alive according to core code. So it's very much a you problem. Hey, you got some wires hanging out and everything. Yeah, one with a few wires, boys. And actually, a lot of the damage looks uh, pretty simple. Oh, he's on fire! Oh. He's on fire! He's on fire! He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Land it! I'll allow, you, he, to, I'll allow you to I count that. that last I think one. he ingested that uh, infantry. <laughs> I felt that as well. Right, yeah. 10 kills. I've got the most kills, finally. Right, <laughs> 10 kills, unbelievable. Right, guys, I need to start taking your numbers. Uh, so stand by as I go and get that sorted. So, sorry about the mess here, but in the end, the Camov won two of the tests. The Hind won, still spelt wrong, zero of the tests. And the Apache won one of the tests. So, according to the results that we've done here, the Camov is the best air-to-ground helicopter. Let's talk about why. Well, it did not do the best anti-tank, and we saw it was having problems with the front armor of tanks with its missiles. It did do the best uh, anti-personnel and low armor, and I've no idea why. We'll talk about why. And it was definitely the toughest. Uh, one guy scored four, and one guy scored six. Hind was great and very entertaining, but it was not good. It didn't win anything. Apache was excellent at anti-armor. Almost every missile it took killed a tank, which is great. It just really struggled in anti-personnel and anti-low armor. And we'll talk about why in a minute. Its uh, ability to take damage was average. So it was really lost and won, guys, in the anti-personnel and anti-low armor. My understanding is the Apache currently only has 300 rounds in it, but it will be given more later. Is that right, guys? Yes. And anyone know why the Kamov did so well against anti-personnel and low armor. Both of you did very well. Schval. Schval. I think that has a lot to do with the, our targeting system. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Schval. Mix of ammunition the, types for the main gun. Mm -hmm. Yep, so uh, the Schval with the laser guidance, that laser is on all the time. Uh, so you're getting real-time updates, and that gun is just following that update. So uh, when you have it on the ground like that, it's focusing on that one spot, and the grouping is pretty good if you get pretty close up. Okay, man of the match today is Monkey because he won two of the competitions. Um, although you all did very well, and you all did better than I could do. Any final comments? Does anyone disagree or agree with the uh, result? And if not, why not? Dropnik needs to go get drink now. <laughs> yes, he does. Right, there you go. Come off at the moment. Best helicopter. Apache will be given more weapons and stuff later on, obviously, and we can try it later. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. 
and thank you for watching.